everyone, I hope everybody is doing well at home. As we all know, the entire world has been facing predicament due to coronavirus pandemic. Indeed, everything has been greatly affected including our education system. Hence, the Department of Education has created some alternatives to cope up with this inevitable circumstance. These will give opportunities for the students to continue their studies in spite of the situation. The new normal allows all teachers to present their lessons through online classes. They can also conduct online meetings with the teaching and non-teaching personnel. One of the most popular and useful communication tools that we can utilize for these online meetings is Google Meet. So, this video tutorial will show you how to use this app easily. Learn to communicate in Google Meet through video conferencing, screen sharing, and chat. You can use Google Meet across all of your devices effortlessly to conduct online meetings. Sounds complicated? Don't worry, this is absolutely easy to do. Just follow the steps that I'm going to tell you. There are three ways to start an online meeting. First, you can use your Google Calendar to schedule an online meeting. Second, you can start an online meeting directly from Gmail. And last, but definitely not the least, you can start an online meeting from Meet app. Okay, so let's start. To schedule an online meeting using the Google Calendar, first, click the sign in button on the google.com browser. Then log in your debit account, like this. Then click next. On the upper right corner of your screen, click the Google Apps icon beside your photo. Click Calendar and it will redirect you to the calendar page. Here, you can schedule the online meeting by clicking the time and the date. For example, the date of the meeting will be on Wednesday, June 17th at 9 a.m. And then a window will appear. You just have to write or type the title of the meeting. For example, faculty meeting. If you want to add some participants, you can click the add guest button and type the email address. Then click enter. If you wish to add more participants, you can just do the same thing. Tip. You can actually add as many as 250 participants for the meeting. Then click save. Then Google will ask you, would you like to send in invitation emails to Google Calendar guests? Just click send. So there you go, we're done. This is how to set up an online meeting using Google Calendar. Alright, so this time, let us learn how to start an online meeting from Gmail. First, you have to move your mouse to the left side of the screen. You'll see under the Meet Me Do, the two buttons, Start a Meeting button and Join a Meeting button. If you wish to join a meeting that has already been scheduled, just click Join a Meeting. Now, if you want to start a meeting, just click Start a Meeting button and it will redirect you to Meet window. In this window, you have the option to mute your microphone or turn off your video. Just click these buttons. Then click Join Now. A window will appear. Click Copy Joining Info. So the link of the meeting will be copied. And you can share it in any messaging apps like Facebook Messenger or Skype. Then the participants will receive the link. The participants will just click the link and they will be able to join the meeting. Now, you can also click Add People. Here, you can enter the name or email of the participants. For example, Then type all the names of the participants. Then click send email. Here, 
the participants will be able to receive the link and an invitation that you're inviting them for a meeting. So, there you have it! That's how to start an online meeting using Gmail. Okay, so this time, we will learn how to start an online meeting from Meet app. First, click the Google Apps icon beside your photo on the upper right corner of your screen. Then click Meet app icon. You will be redirected to Meet page. Now, if there is a scheduled meeting, you will see it right away and click it. But if you'd like to start a meeting, just click Join or Start a Meeting button. A window will appear. You just have to enter the meeting code that has been sent to you. Or if you want to start your own meeting, you can enter a nickname or leave it blank. Then continue. In this video, you have the option to turn off your camera or mute your microphone. Just click this button. Now, click Join Now. Now, you can copy joining info or add people button to add the participants. On this screen, you will see many options on the lower part of your screen. On the left lower part, you will see meeting details. You can again copy joining info to let other people or the participants know about a meeting. Now, on the right corner, You'll see more options, but it you'll see there are many options like if you want to record a meeting, change layout, full screen, turn on captions, settings, use a phone for audio, report a problem, report a views, or help. If you'd like to record a meeting, just click record meeting. But you have to ask permission from all the participants to allow you to record the meeting. If everybody agrees, just click now the meeting will be recorded. If you'd like to change the layout of your screen, just click Change Layout from the More Options button. You can choose Auto, Sidebar, Spotlight, or Time. Now, if you're the presenter, you just have to click Present Now. You have three options here. Your entire screen, a window, and a Chrome tab button. Now, if you click your entire screen, all the participants will see everything that you do on the screen. And just click share. Now, in the A Window button, you can choose which button or which window you'd like to share with them. For example, you'd like to share with them the PowerPoint presentation that you had prepared. Just click share. When you're done, just click Stop Sharing on the lower part of your screen. Now, the last option is a Chrome tab. You just click it, and then you have to choose which among the browser tab you'd like to share with them. For example, you'd like to share a video from YouTube. You just have to choose it and click Share. When you're done, you just have to click Stop on the upper right left corner of the screen. Now, if you're done with the meeting, just click the Leave Call button. There you go! We're done! Congratulations! You now know how to start an online meeting using the Google Meet app. Thank you! Be safe and healthy everyone! Bye!